friends, Heidi here from Rain Country. God is good all the time and I'm here for another garden update and the date that I'm shooting this is July 14th 2020 so today the garden area I am focusing on is the deck garden which is mostly container gardening and then some so let's get busy and show you how things are doing right now okay so I'll start by just doing a full pan here so you can see my little wood stove garden is what I call that because that's our old old wood stove and then there's the shelves over there grapevines, blueberries, all around the edges of the deck. So the grapes are doing really good. Uh, a little better this year than they were last year. Now the previous two years we had tons and tons of grapes. Last year we didn't get a lot, but this year you can see my grapes are flowering. That's how they look like when they flower. And then this right there's how they look when they start forming the actual grapes when those flower buds first come on they look like little tiny grape clusters but then they open up there's another one here there's just a bunch of them all over actually that's how they look and then they'll start forming their little grape clusters so you know it's uh, this pretty i would say my grapes are pretty much the same time as always everything even though everything else has been pretty slow and behind, well not everything else, but most everything, the grapes have been doing exactly as should be expected. All right, let's talk a bit about my blueberries. They finally started greening up. They, if you've been watching some of my previous videos, because we've had such a cold, cold spring and early summer, the blueberries were just not, they, they started acting like it was fall. This one over here is still pretty yellow, but definitely looking a lot better than it did. And it even does have a few blueberries on it. I have been picking them and sharing them with the robins because the robins found them this year. But we're getting a few. And thankfully, and here's a couple right there I need to come out and pick. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in right here so you can see more grapes in there flowering lots more anyway this is why people you need to preserve as much as you can from your harvest even if you feel like wow I got me way more than I can use keep preserving it keep putting it up whether it be freezing canning dehydrating because this year not getting a lot of blueberries but I've got a lot still frozen up from the past two maybe even three years so I keep us ahead in that way. And yes, I keep my canner out here because this is where I do all my canning. People ask me about this a lot. It's just a propane. It came with the turkey fryer we bought many years ago and that was the big thing. And uh, yeah, well, only used it once for a turkey fryer, but it's been great for canning. So I can do all my canning outside. It's just keeps the heat out here and, and uh, all that. So I just, I like doing it out here. Okay, so let me focus in on some of these smaller pots here. So my green onions, you can see that these are the ones that I, where I used the, I bought the green onions, used them, and then transplanted them in here. Nasturtiums there are doing okay. The flowers just aren't doing great because now that the grapevines have filled in like they have, the, the stuff is just not getting enough sun. However, the onions don't seem to care. The marjoram is doing so-so. I have been trying to keep this right here open more so that the sun can come through this little area. I should probably go either trim back some of those grapevines some more or tie them up. But what I have to do actually is, you see these grapevines coming out like this because they, they just shade things out a little bit too much or it makes it so you can't even get out <laughs> through the walkway here. Uh, I do have to keep kind of breaking them back or pruning them back, but I try to be careful not to do too much because the grapes really need all those leaves to collect the sun so they can grow. <laughs> so here are some other pots with more onions. These, the calendula grown in these tends to do a little bit better, even though they don't get tons of sun. Mostly I like to use these pots for starting the calendula and then moving it around to other areas around the garden. And then for the green onions. I find that my green onions, when I put them in the pots up here on the deck, they do better than anywhere else. Okay, now over to my little shelf that Patrick built me. He did, does have a video on this. And so the thyme that I planted in here is just doing really well. The basil I moved from, I moved a few plants out here just to see how they do. 
They're only just now starting to spring back. You can see what happened here. It just got too cold. And now we're finally, in fact, today might actually be our first real summer day. Pansies haven't really filled out as much as I hoped they would. And as you can see, I keep cutting those flowers back. So that's why you only see a couple of flowers, one there and one there. But I'm surprised it's not getting, I know this doesn't get tons of sun because of where it's at and the umbrella up there, but it should still be putting out more flowers. And then my, the lettuce, I would have some, if, if you're watching my videos before, well, I had planted lettuce in here, but then Patrick uh, pressure washed these pots because they were pretty bad. They still don't look beautiful, but anyway, I think what happened was he blew out all the seeds I just planted. So I was waiting and waiting and waiting for the lettuce seed to come up and finally realized, you know what, I think I have to put some more in here. So I did, and that was just a few days ago, and already they're popping up all over. Okay, now let's move over here here so this is just a pot i'm using for uh like i had some valerian i'd started in the greenhouse just moved it out here because i planted the rest out in the main garden don't know what i'm going to do with these yet so stuck them in here so it would have a place been moving i'd started a bunch of calendula in here and i've been moving that out into other garden areas and then i got to get out here and uh, cut all of these pansies off here so i can get them on the dehydrator I just transplanted this poor little sad looking nasturtium. It'll be fine after a bit because I just did it. I took the lettuces that were out of there because they were done. The, time, the golden thyme is doing good. I tell you, I love this golden thyme. Nice flavor. Boy, something's always got to be making noise when I'm out here. My honeysuckle is growing. It's not, it hasn't gotten a whole lot taller, a little bit. Mostly it's kind of bushing out. So getting lots of little flowers here and there. And then this nasturtium, just a few days ago, was just real alive and full and flowery. One thing I found with the dwarf nasturtium is that when it decides it's done, it's done. It just, in a couple of days, it'll go, it'll go from looking lush and beautiful to this. And so that's fine. I'm letting that, I'll let those finish up and go to seed. And right here, I've transplanted a fresh one. So one thing about the dwarf nasturtiums, this is what I'm doing with them this year. And I mentioned this in my last video that the dwarf nasturtium, unlike your bigger nasturtium, it has a very short cycle. And so it's best if you succession plant them. So that's what I've been doing. So you can see here, I've got more little starts. I've got nasturtium starts everywhere i'll probably keep one of these here and transplant the other one somewhere else you know just like where i transplanted this one here that will fill in once this is completely done and then i'll have some more beautiful red flowers now the beans they're doing exactly as i hoped they would do they're not as full but i tell you the ones that i've grown up against the structures are doing the best right now of all my beans so it's, uh, I do have to encourage it a little bit, but it's working its way across the chain there. I've got a couple more vines. There's one there. I'll probably work back down this way, and I think there's some more in there. But if you look closely, I'm getting some little beans. Now this is all, these beans right here are all, there's several plants in there. They're all coming from this one pot right there. And then there is a couple of my blue butterfly peas. Now this is the one I had over there on the other side. You might have seen it from a previous video. Well look, uh, when I transplanted this, there must have been another dormant seed in that soil. And so I got another one coming up. I don't know that I'll get anything off these. But uh, anyway, I moved this over here because it's getting more sun here and it's liking that. And so we'll see. I'm hoping my main focus will be on those this year to not save the flowers for drying or anything like that for coloring, but rather to save the seeds so I can have more to plant next year. And then next year, it, that's if I get any seed. <laughs> and then next year, I'll focus on saving the flowers for using as coloring, food coloring, makeup, whatever. And then I had to plug that back in because I tripped over it earlier and unplugged it. But um, this is all hooked up to our solar power. I'll be bringing out my other dehydrator here in a bit because I got to go harvest a bunch more herbs and whatever else. I think I'm going to start dehydrating some greens today. And then I'll have two dehydrators sitting out here. So this is where they dry on hot days like this so I can keep the heat out of the house. And then that, so that, that's why the extension cord is going in there in through Patrick's shop, which he has that hooked up to our solar power.
And for those of you who are new, our solar panels are all up there on top of the shop roof and they extend all the way across. We do have some old videos on that, uh, but things have changed a little bit. We've added, uh, we've increased the size of our battery bank. So um, I'll link you back in the description box down below. I'll go ahead and link you to an old video that at least you'll get an idea from. But uh, I'll have, Patrick really needs to do an update. All right, so I'm just going to stand here at the opening into the main garden area. This is our backyard. A, I'm not going to talk about all this because that's going to be for another video, but I just want to show you as of today, July 14th, things have finally started to grow out there. We're finally getting some warmth and some sunlight. Things, two things that they need. The peripheral plants, all the herbs are doing great. The marshmallows, the sunflowers, the lamb's ear, the currants. I've been picking lots of currants. I need to get out here and pick some more. But uh, the, two, the two main currants out here. Oh, and then there's another valerian out there. Of course, you can see my laundry hanging up. But anyway, I'll be covering more of that and what's going on in the greenhouse and other garden sections in future videos. All right, well, that's my garden update for this week. So the deck garden, member, most of the stuff you see are in containers. The only thing that's not are the grapes. They're actually in the ground, I forgot to say that earlier, just on the outside of the deck, on the outside edges. But, and there's a total of three great plants. And they are mostly the Niagara white. And then I have an amber at the far corner. I don't remember the name of that one, but the rest of them are uh, Niagara white. And they're all best for a wine grape, not so much for a juice because they're really tart, but it's still good. You can still use it for making a good grape soda or making gummies or anything like that. But yes, everything else you saw were all in containers. So this is uh, where I started a lot of my gardening, plus a little small section out here before we expanded to the large area back here and then expanded to the front yard like we We've done okay well i hope you're enjoying the 2020 garden series be watching for more to come thanks for watching take care and god bless <laughs>